welcome back more card reviews so speaking of archetypes where you think they were done but they get more cards today we are looking at a new mermel card which i guess is fine that they get a new card because they just got hit with one of their best cards in their deck of course that being norden so they need something to fill the void i mean for goodness sakes that deck played three instant fusions just for that one norden but i mean who didn't right norden is broken Good thing he's banned. Anyway, we are looking at Mermel Abyss Nira. I guess that's what her name is. So she is a water aqua effect monster, level three with 1200 attack and 2000 defense. So the stats are pretty decent for level three. 2000 defense is fairly high and the 1200 is nothing to scholar for being a level three. Let's go ahead and look at that effect. So you can discard this card, then target one monster you control. Quick effect, so during your player's turn. Destroy one other monster you can water monster you control, or in your hand. And if you do, the targeted monster gains attack and defense equal to destroyed monsters' original attack and defense until the end of this turn. So this effect is not terrible. It really isn't. It kind of sucks that you're actually destroying the water monster in your hand instead of just discarding it, which of course would be you know the effects activating for the Atlantean monsters, but. Uh, the fact that this is during either player's turn, you can go ahead and just boost your attack, kind of like a weird water honest, is actually not bad. And I think that's actually what she is. She really doesn't specify anything having to do with mermails or anything like that. She's pretty much just a water honest, which is not terrible. Um, now, it just kind of sucks that you're going neg on the play because you really are, you know. You got to pitch her, then either get rid of another water monster in your hand or pop one. So... Uh, you know, possibly if you have, like, you know, Lind on the field, you can go ahead and destroy the Lind on your field, boost the attack, and then, the, of course, the Lind will float into something else, which will be nice. But, uh, yeah, you're pretty much using two cards to get the boost off the water on us. Of course, you can do this during the damage gap during either player's turn. Uh, so that first effect is not terrible, but it has an additional effect as well. So if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can draw one card, then discard it. You can only use each effect of Mermel Abyss Nier once per turn. So the second effect eh, could be a little bit better, you know. Uh, you don't even even now. She doesn't float or anything, you know. If you just got to sh just straight up draw, that'd be awesome. You know, she dies on the field. She has a 2,000 booty. You know, she's hopefully going to be surviving for a little bit. When she dies, you get draw. But no, you get to discard. So this is where you can actually trigger, you know, your, uh, your Atlantean monsters. Uh, and of course this gun so that's actually pretty fine as well and if you have multiple copies of her you can possibly go ahead and use her first effect on her on herself or uh, one of the copies on the field to then boost the attack of one of your water monsters by 1200 then use the other one's effect to go ahead and draw a card and then discard another card which is actually a fine effect being able to uh, you know look at the next card and just just discard any card you know uh, overall, I would say this card is actually pretty good. Now, does it fill in the void that's missing from Norden being banned? Of course, definitely not. I mean, come on, Norden is freaking ridiculously broken. It should have been banned a long time ago. But do I think this card is good? I actually would say yes. I actually think this card is good. The fact that it's a water on it, seeing the next card, being with this card, triggering your, uh, your Lanteans and, of course, your gun. Um, I think that this card can definitely fill a niche. I would probably play multiple of her and maybe throw in a couple more copies of uh, Lind and Bisphere and play it a little bit slower. Now, uh, the whole during either player's turn boosting the attack can, of course, possibly lead to a higher chance of OTK uh, being able to just pitch, uh, destroy, uh, boost the attack of, you know, um, Mermel, uh, Abyss, Gaios, or whatever, or or lead or whatever, and be able to attack multiple times, getting that damage. And of course, Mermels are known for attack through OTK. And, you know, be able to just get rid of those leads in your hand that aren't really doing anything, or Abyss Gaios if you run him. Uh, be able to just boost the attack, or Abyss Balling. Be able to just pitch, pop, boost the attack, and uh, go for game, or protect yourself from, uh, you know, your opponent running you over, or the same thing. Like I said, this is a water on this. this I, I'd say this card is good. I, I've run multiple copies. Like I said, it just, it cannot fill the void of Norden missing, of course. It is only level 3. They do have a rank 3. I don't remember her being that great, but, you know, still, this card is fine nonetheless. And, hey, at least you're getting uh, new support, right? Alright, so that's really all I have to say about Mermel Abyss Nira here. So, tell me what you guys think about her in the comment section below. If you play Mermel's rip to your Norden, but, hey, rip to everybody's Norden, right? 
he should really have been banned a long time ago. So, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back next week with some more card review. But uh, I will be back tomorrow with some more new game related content. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, for all the support. I really do appreciate it. You know, life is being busy and hectic and just crazy. And just the fact that I can still record and get content for you guys in my spare time is great as well. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for support. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.